Nike is a brand that is well known for making cool sneakers and some pretty epic ads. But this time, something has definitely gone wrong. Their recent ad, You Can't Stop Us, gained mixed reviews. From praise for their creative editing to accusations of hypocrisy being a leading brand using forced Uyghur labor in China. Now, on the outset, this appears to be an incredible ad that gives us all kinds of inspirational feels. The music, the transitions, it's incredibly captivating. That is, of course, until this happens. And if we don't fit the sport, we'll change the sport. Seriously? A Muslim woman skateboarding in a niqab transitioning into a woman skateboarder waving a smoked out LGBT flag. Now, a message to the stallions of capitalist wokeness at Nike. With all of those millions of dollars spent on perfecting your marketing campaigns and advertising strategies, did you not just think for a second that this was just a bit inappropriate? We'll change the sport. See, I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to suggest we should change. But if you're trying to suggest that Muslims should somehow change our long-standing Islamic values to conform to today's liberal standards, you might be a little off. Or if you're trying to suggest that Muslims are one in the same with the LGBT cause, you might be just a little off there too. And this isn't coming from a place of homophobia, nor intolerance towards the LGBT community but to specifically tie the two groups together just doesn't make any sense. I mean, what does my Muslim Naqabi sister, who rocks some pretty cool moves on the skateboard, have to do with the LGBT cause? The scene stands out like a sore thumb. But in all honesty, I'm not surprised. Liberal media has long had an agenda of targeting the minds of impressionable young Muslims to be in line with the values of the progressive left. And the irony amidst it all is the fact that it is all being done in the name of freedom of expression and embracing one's individuality. Pretty hypocritical if you ask me. I mean, how can one honestly be preaching freedom of expression while insidiously be eluding Muslims to reform their religion, not allowing Muslims to be Muslims? Yet the sad truth is, in the eyes of the corporate giants, Muslims, in particular Muslim women, are no more than a market and a means of profit. And big brands will do whatever it takes to maximize on this. As such, we are constantly barraged with advertising that idolizes a Muslim that looks, acts, thinks, and behaves in a certain way. They will encourage you to go against the grain, to be bold, to be different, to be a model Muslim that will serve the corporation's liberal ideals and help them reach their marketing goals. If we think greatness is supposed to look a certain way, act a certain way, and play a certain way, we certainly need to rethink some things. Now, I'm not trying to say we shouldn't be Muslim women that are fit, active, and healthy. For all of this is no doubt commendable when it is done the right way. We have no issue with that. But what I am trying to say is don't let these corporate giants define what it means to be you, a Muslim. Don't let them delude you away from knowing that your greatness is in obtaining the pleasure of Allah, living a life in line with your religion and a life whereby you uphold your values, Islam. Your values have been set. Your religion is complete. No matter how many people will tell us it's outdated, needs reformation and needs to change, that is just not the case and Allah has affirmed this in the Qur'an. Today I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as your religion. So my dear Muslims, and of course my sisters, be strong, be brave, and don't let them take away from your greatness in being a true Muslim. If you enjoyed this video, and other content One Path Network produces, please visit OnePathNetwork.com. For as little as a dollar a day, you can help in spreading beneficial content across the globe. Thanks for your support, guys.